We're here at Camp Pendleton uh, over by the horse stables and uh, we're doing the American Super Camp. And it's an opportunity to come out here and uh, just have a little fun on the dirt and uh, pick up a couple of techniques to uh, improve our riding. It helps riders on the street because it puts you in a situation that is outside of the normal. Uh, when you're on the road and you've got good traction and everything works, you can get away with little things. When you start taking things away by putting a hand from your grip onto the tank, you can't make those big mistakes anymore. This was my first weekend on a motorcycle. Since it's not a barrier to become a motorcycle rider, it's something to get you in the door and on the right, right pathway and track to, to be comfortable in what you're doing and not going through a discovery learning process where, where you're, you're learning with road rash and all that. You're just getting dirty and clothes that aren't even yours. You don't even have to wash them. About the point between steps two and three, your focus should be all the way to the next apex. Going out there, it's not very often you get to you know go sideways on a motorcycle and, and not freak out. My riding experience started about a year ago. I'm on a Honda Shadow 2011, and pretty much just right came back from a deployment. Decided that I had some extra cash with me. Decided I wanted a motorcycle, so went out and bought one. I've been riding it ever since. When I first went out and bought my motorcycle, I had no riding experience, and I you know laid it down. I, you know, I wasn't I wasn't as experienced as I thought I was, and doing some stuff that it was probably a little bit difficult, so I mean, and I would recommend it to guys that have never ridden. We had guys here that had never ridden and picked it up and, and did it very well. And that way, you know, you drop the motorcycle, it's a dirt bike, you can just pick it right back up and, and you know, wipe it off and, and nothing happened. And on the street, it's different. The, the, the pavement doesn't forgive. Well, I ride a Harley actually, and I came out here because uh, I got some guys that said uh, knowing how to ride a dirt bike saved their butt in a bad situation. They told me to jump on the opportunity, so I did. What happens when you don't have the traction? You don't know what to do, and then you crash that beautiful chrome, and it's a lot of money, so. <laughs> so yeah, I learned a lot. I learned how to control it without the traction. I would recommend this to every single motorcycle rider in the Marine Corps. I think it should be mandatory training for everybody because it does nothing but help you out. You know, it's really helped me think a little more clearly on the road when I'm out there just in regular California traffic. So it doesn't even matter the level rider. All the courses, the more advanced you go, just the better you get. And then I can be a better mentor when I go back to my command and I have young riders that join up. Now I'm a better mentor to them because I can handle any situation that they get into and I can help them through it. From a command perspective, you need to be making yourself better. Whether it's better at your job, better at your family, or better at your motorcycle skills. You have to continuously improve yourself. And this is just one more opportunity to get all of our Marines out here and, and do the right thing by increasing our skills continuously.